Hello everyone, greetings to all. In this video, we are going to see about the important MCQ questions in the topic of elastic constants and their relationship. Now we will see. First question, what is Young's modulus? So Young's modulus is nothing but the ratio of stress by strain. Stress by strain is the Young's modulus. It is also known as modulus of elasticity and it is denoted by symbol E. Okay, Young's modulus E is nothing but the ratio of stress by strain. Generally, Young's modulus uh, as the unit of uh, Newton per mm square, or may some maybe sometimes uh, uh, they are uh, measured as uh, Pascal, gigapascal, megapascal, or kilonewton per meter square or kilonewton per mm square. So, Young's modulus is nothing but stress by strain. Second question, what is shear modulus? Shear modulus, that word also have a keyword like shear. So shear modulus is nothing but the ratio of shear stress to shear strain. And it is denoted by the symbol of C or N or G. Generally, C is used for shear modulus and G is used for modulus of rigidity. So shear modulus is also known as modulus of rigidity. It also has the same unit of Young's modulus. So shear modulus is nothing but the ratio of shear stress to shear strain. Third question, what is bulk modulus? Don't confuse with shear modulus and bulk modulus. So shear modulus and bulk modulus both are different one. So bulk modulus it is nothing but it is a ratio of stress to volumetric strain. And it is also known as volume of modulus of elasticity and it is denoted by symbol of K. So bulk modulus is nothing but stress to volumetric strain. So E means Young's modulus, C means shear modulus or modulus of rigidity, N means shear modulus or modulus of rigidity, G means shear modulus or modulus of rigidity. Generally C is used for shear modulus and G is used for modulus of rigidity. And also K means bulk modulus. So next question, fourth one, what is Poisson ratio? Poisson ratio is nothing but the ratio of lateral strain to linear strain. And it is denoted by the symbol of 1 by M or mu. So Poisson ratio is nothing but it is the ratio of lateral strain to linear strain. So next question, fifth one. Dimensions of Young's modulus or shear modulus. What is the dimensions of Young's modulus or shear modulus or bulk modulus? So it has the unit of so dimensions of m l power minus 1 t power minus 2. This is very important one. Please learn this one is correctly. Fifth one. What is the dimensions of Young's modulus or shear modulus? m l power minus 1 t power minus 2. So next question, sixth one. What is the relation between E and C? So please remember E and C means please remember plus symbol and E and K means please remember minus symbol. So E and C. What is the relation in between E and C is E equal to 2C into 1 plus mu. But what is the relation between E and K means E equal to 3k into 1 minus 2 mu. So that's why I told please remember E and C means plus symbol and E and K means minus symbol. So E and K, what is the relation between E and C means E equal to 2C into 1 plus mu and the relation between E and K is E equal to 3k into 1 minus 2 mu. So next question, eighth one. What is the relation between E, C, K? E equal to 9K, C divided by 3K plus C. So these three uh, relations are very, very important one. The first one is E equal to 2C into 1 plus mu. And second one, E equal to 3K into 1 minus mu, 1 minus 2 mu. And third one, E equal to 9kc divided by 3k plus c. So next question, ninth one. How many independent elastic constants are there? Please remember two. That's nothing but Young's modulus and shear modulus. This is also a very important question. And next we will see 
uh, some of the numerical values of Young's modulus, shear modulus, and bulk modulus for various materials. So tenth one, what is the value of Young's modulus for wood? It is eleven. And what is the value of Young's modulus for high strength concrete? It is thirty. And twelfth one, what is the value of Young's modulus for glass? Fifty to ninety. And what is the value of wrought iron? One ninety to two hundred and ten. And what is the value of Young's modulus for steel? It is two hundred. And what is the value of Young's modulus for diamond? Thousand fifty to one thousand two hundred and ten. So please remember, wood means its Young's modulus is eleven gigapascal or kilonewton per meter square. High strength concrete means thirty gigapascal or kilonewton per meter square. Glass means fifty to ninety gigapascal or kilonewton per sorry mm square. Wrought iron means one ninety to two hundred and ten gigapascal or kilonewton per millimeter square. And Young's modulus E means for steel means two uh, hundred kilonewton per mm square. For diamond means thousand fifty to one thousand two hundred and ten gigapascal. Or kilonewton per mm square. These values are has the unit of kilonewton per mm square. And next question is sixteenth one. Which material has the highest value of Young's modulus? That is carbine. So please uh, remember this one. It is very important question. Carbine is the highest value of Young's modulus. That value is thirteen thousand hundred gigapascal or kilonewton per millimeter square. And seventeenth one, what is the value of shear modulus for iron? That is fifty-two point five gigapascal or kilonewton per mm square. And what is the value of shear modulus for steel? It is important one, seventy-nine point three. And nineteenth one, what is the value of K for steel? K means bulk modulus. Bulk modulus for steel equal to one sixty gigapascal or kilonewton per mm square. And twentieth one. What is the value of bulk modulus for water? It is important question. Bulk modulus for water is equal to 2.2 into 10 to the power 9 pascal or 2.2 gigapascal or 2.2 kilonewton per mm square. And 21. What is the Poisson ratio of cork? That is zero. Cork is nothing but it is a impermeable buoyant material. That is cork. So it has the Poisson ratio is zero, and what is the Poisson ratio for rubber? Rubber means zero point four nine nine to zero point five, and what is what is the Poisson ratio of steel? Zero point two seven to zero point three. It is important question. Please learn it thoroughly. What is the Poisson ratio of steel? Zero point two seven to zero point three, and what is the Poisson ratio of cast iron? Zero point two one to zero point two six. And what is the Poisson ratio of concrete? Zero point one to zero point two. So please uh, learn this uh, in numerical value thoroughly. We may expect uh, MCQ questions in these numerical values and also in their relationships and in their definitions. If you want more material means, please go. www.civilengineeringmcq.com and download this material and this fully material as a pdf thanks for watching this video if you like this video means please subscribe our channel for more videos and also please share to your your friends thank you